Hello and welcome to Garage Avengers most epic build, the sofa beer fridge. Now in a moment, you're gonna see me looking like a little church boy, and by the end of this project, I look like a demon. Well, I at least grew my hair long. And that'll tell you how long it took me <laughs> to complete this project. Now, I had not done any programming before, very little electronics before, I had done some welding, but very little. Um, there was a lot of screw ups. I started a podcast um, and many other things. And this project now, no spitting all the time, Jesus. Um, this project has taken me nearly a year and a half to build and it's just been epic. And I really hope you guys can appreciate what I put into this build. Uh, now, without further ado, uh, Here's my young self a year and a half ago. Hey, and welcome to another episode. Today, we're gonna to be building a sofa beer fridge. Yes, this is a crazy idea I had a while back with a friend of mine. Now, I've, for the last six months or so, I've been working on how to build this thing. Uh, I've been on the internets buying things and buying things for the sofa beer fridge. I've been prototyping things from cardboard. <laughs> and I've been learning how to program because they said programming was easy and kids could do it. So how hard could it be? I'm on. What does I want to see? I don't understand. I don't understand. So this process has led me to the final design that I have in my head. So still it's going to be completely random and I don't know if this project is actually going to work, but let's film it from this point on and see what I come up with. Um, let's do it. Let's go make a sofa beer fridge. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Right, this is the sofa module we're gonna use for the sofa beer fridge. This is actually my friend's sofa that he's given us to hack up. Let's hope we don't balls this up. So basically, the idea is all the refrigeration magic happens under the sofa cushion, and we're gonna build a dispensing mechanism out the side here. So the first thing we're gonna do is build this dispensing mechanism, and then we'll go from there. What the f How the f Why does it line up? I need to find my quiet place.
found my inner peace it's time to fix my mistake let's do this so here we go the moment of truth now, what I haven't shown you is that I had some troubles aligning this. Ah, come on! Ah, oh, come on! Ah, why are we doing this? For f oh, for f sake. So here we go. Ah, yes! You draw, you jerk! Mm. 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 Righto, what's next? This is what's next. A lineal actuator. I got this in the post the other day and it looks awesome. I like to call it the penis extension. So basically, uh, we're going to use this to drive our draw in and out. Uh, it's perfectly measured by chance uh, for the draw length um, so we're gonna work out how to do that there's a lot of componentry that's got to interact with each other uh, so that they don't clash I have to think things through so as usual things probably won't go according to plan but anyway let's do this Alright guys, that went much better than expected. Now it's time to see if it actually works. And... How good is that? Mad! Alright, let's see if it goes in again. Oh, so smooth. How good is that? So freaking cool. Oh. So there we have it guys, a working drawer. Now this talks down to 75 kilos of pressure, so you probably don't want to get anything stuck in there. But I'd say we're finished and it's time to get on with the next bit. Oh, Jesus f***ing, what the f***? <laughs> well guys, we can't have that, can we? I mean... It's a bit dangerous. I think I have a solution. Uh, but whilst we're at that, let's give it a lick of paint and make it look all pretty from the outside. And change this shirt.
How good is this, guys? It nearly looks legit professional. Uh, I say nearly. But does my anti-finger owie thingy work? Well, we're about to find out. Oh no, I've left my finger in there. Ah! Actually, it's pretty good. That wouldn't hurt at all. How good is that? Ow, it does get a little bit stuck, but it doesn't hurt. Awesome! All right, guys, that's it. Unfortunately, I think for the time being, I'm waiting for some more parts in the mail. Uh, still haven't come. Damn you, freaking Norwegian post system. Uh, but in the next episode, I'm going to be showing you my overcomplicated dispensing mechanism, which I don't know if it's going to work. Uh, the refrigeration part and probably some voice control and some programming and some gleam and globin. Uh, thanks so much for watching guys. I'll hope you come with the next episode and check that out. There'll probably be some madness as usual. Um, until then, uh, don't be scared of trying new things. The worst thing can happen is you get your fingers caught in it or your t-shirt ripped. So I'll see you next time guys. See ya.